Today, I want to share with you my choices and how much did it cost me to get from this to this. So stay with me. Hey viewers, welcome back to Dallas Auto Diag. Uh, today's video is a little bit different. Um, it started a long time ago, actually, when I when I got into this uh, field. Uh, I always ran into situations where either in a YouTube that you're watching or a discussion that you have with somebody or any other situation uh, that a uh, a board work needs to be done at some point so uh, EEPROM work uh, has been always in my list and it's one of the really top <laughs> in the list um, I did go to uh, I did sign up for a couple of uh, EEPROM classes in Kansas City uh, Vision 2022 and um, there is also another class uh, which is a Subaru uh eprom pcm kind of work i already signed up for it this month is coming at the end of this month and um i am i'm headed towards uh doing some eprom some uh board work level uh uh stuff so in order for me to do this i i have to have a, a station a table a workstation uh office whatever you want to call it and uh be honest with you i wanted to start good i wanted to start correct i wanted to avoid mistakes that uh people have done or beginners have done um and in order for me to do this i i chose to ask a couple of friends that i have about what uh what tools what what things that i, I need to buy in order to be in that uh, not a beginner level a little bit above uh, so I have gotten some recommendations uh, and I would like to thank everybody that helped me in this matter and was patient with me with all my questions and uh, I have made some purchases so today I want to share with you what I have purchased and how much did it cost me and why did I go in some some situations why did I go uh, this one not that one here are the stuff that I have purchased um some used some new obviously and some i have already unboxed some still in the box so we are going to uh go item by item and i will share with you how much did it cost me and at the end of the video we'll see how much everything cost me the total amount that cost me so the first item that i want to share with you this power supply uh, this was $60 this is the actual price that I uh, purchased it and it was recommended um, to me by somebody who actually used it who had a different one and he purchased this one recently and he told me that there is a big difference so he recommended it and I bought it item I want to share is this hot air station uh, model number 861 DW uh, again all these tools were uh, recommended by uh, professional people in this business uh, without mentioning any names I didn't take their permission to mention their names in the video so uh, again uh, those are tested units by other people you can uh, always go uh, search those models and see reviews but I trust uh, my friends and their opinion uh, this unit was purchased for 261 plus taxes so and it has two on buttons back in the front 
and uh, it comes with three attachments this is the, the medium one this is the big one and the small one so and this attachment uh, goes in the side if you want to uh, use it also but I'm not gonna put it for now let's move to the next one is this uh, this iron also based on a friend recommendation it is the Hako FX 951 I believe dash 66 there is another version which doesn't come with five uh, heads it comes with one and you can buy those separately and some others now it is 322 but I just checked my order and I knew I paid more I paid 390 plus taxes it came to four something we'll do the math um, at the end of the video but uh, yeah uh, those are the uh, the other heads one two three and this is the fourth one I thought it was five. Oh yeah those are four and one I put next is this fairly expensive uh, desoldering gun uh, model number Hako FR-301 also based on recommendation everything I bought is based on recommendation um, it was 265 and by the way I know earlier I said this was different price no I checked I double checked that was uh, the order included some other stuff so the total was 390 but this one was uh, the um, the iron it's the same price 322 and this one also uh, 265 Next is this PC Byte kit. Uh, there is different version of it, but I decided to go with the with the uh, 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 most equipped version, and uh, comes with the two of these leads and some attachments. And uh, I've heard people use it. I've heard that it's really good and it's useful, and also in other applications. Uh, this was two fifteen dollars. I will assemble it later but I just wanted to show you this is the content of it. The things that I need to purchase is a fume extractor and um, I found this uh, really practical I mean the way it looked at it uh, on Amazon before I purchased it and it's only 80 bucks so I did buy it. Uh, after I bought it 
I found this used one on Facebook and a uh, lady wanted uh, actually she wanted 200 for it I, I offered her a hundred uh, she accepted my offer so I had to travel some distance like uh, an hour but I think it worth it why because the price on Amazon for this Hako FA430 is $900 so and I put them next to each other there is a big difference big difference uh, this one uh, monitors the filters also tells you when it's due for a replacement and it has a uh, uh, air volume I mean the suction uh, adjustment it is, it is just good so I just couldn't pass on it I decided to return this to Amazon and keep this one One of the most important items was the microscope. I spent a lot of time researching, a lot of questions I asked, and uh, while I was searching and comparing uh, uh, devices on, on Amazon and on YouTube, I found this, uh, which they call it trinocular, because it's able to hold a uh, digital uh, device like a camera or something to record or to display and at the same time you can use it as a, uh, a microscope uh, the unique thing about this is the arm the way you can tuck it away and it is sturdy so not all of them like this uh, you can adjust it the way you want it you guys just saw me uh, assembling it now one there might be one, uh, uh, what do you call it, downside about this item, which I didn't pay attention because I'll show you why. Um, this, which might allow me only to use either eyes or digital. Uh, this is a disappointment, to be honest with you. Uh, let me show you. This is the listing that I bought it and i didn't i didn't pay this much it was the listing was uh, was saying only one left and uh i believe i paid this is the same give me a moment yeah right here i paid 580 580 while right now it is uh 770 so I found it in a good price. I jumped on it right away. It was the last item in that listing. Um, and uh, one of the things that I learned about this, this M-Scope, this, this model that I bought, SM60 Trinocular Stereo Zoom uh, Microscope. Uh, M-Scope in general, their, their uh, cameras, their digital cameras, have a disappointment also which is they don't have a way to display to a monitor they can uh, only go to a laptop and there is a software you install and uh, and view stuff so i didn't like this and while i was searching and uh, looking at the uh, videos i found somebody that actually um did this he bought one of these adapters uh, which I did buy for 50 bucks and uh, this adapter will go right here and it will allow you to use other cameras now 
I bought this from Amscope themselves. I couldn't find it on Amazon. And the other camera that I bought is this one, which is, I'll show you. Uh, I believe it's this one, yes, higher 4K. Uh, in Amscope, uh, Amscope cameras that comes with that kit, it was like only 5 megapixel. It was a joke. But this one is a 4K and it was 180. So I jumped on it right away. As I said, 4K it has a remote capabilities of uh, recording and shooting to a uh, laptop or uh, I'll show you the ports, HDMI, USB, and it can record uh, to a uh, micro SD. So uh, again, I, and, and the, the price was not a big difference. Only thing that I had to buy is this attachment, which we will uh, see how, I, I don't have the attachment yet. It's still, it, it is shipped, but um, that's what I did actually. Let me take the camera out if I can. Yeah, I didn't have to show you on the computer. We have the camera. That's a big down moment, by the way. I, that's what I call it. So this is the higher camera. I like it. It's uh, there is other mo uh, models that are like really big and they stick up. This is a low profile one and we'll definitely try it once we get the attachment. I won't be able to put it right now. What I also bought is uh, this light uh, and I believe it's adjustable. Yeah, adjustable. The brightness is adjustable and that attaches here. And I also bought this attachment, this lens, which is 0.5x WD-165. What this does actually, this will give you the ability to uh, go up more and have the same uh, zoom uh, capability. Um, this is good why it will give me more clearance to work on stuff and use my tools. There's another lens which is the 2.0x that does the opposite. This will bring, you have to bring your my, um, your scope down in order to be able to have the same uh, zoom as where it is on the uh, normal level so that what I chose to go but again uh, this might be a disappointment and I'll show you uh, it's deceiving the way they uh, uh, advertise it by the way the light was only 40 bucks and this is the lens $45 and this was available on Amazon uh no here you see how this picture doesn't have that that those two here so sometimes they do this sometimes they do this now now i'm 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 either gonna have to return it and look for another one and by the way i just spent some time searching this design specifically all of them has this uh this option hopefully hopefully I'm, I'm wrong hopefully this means it will allow me like when you pull it out it will allow me to use camera and eyes at the same time but even though I don't think I can find a really good uh, uh, scope like this for the price that I paid for five five eighty uh, I don't think I can find anything this close so for now we're keeping it we're gonna test it and see see how it goes my next purchase was a Godiag. This is not necessarily uh, an essential uh, item for if you're just trying to do uh, soldering work in general, but this is related to what we do, uh, automotive. So this is a must have. In addition, I was uh, advised to buy this universal, universal uh, charger. For the Godiag, better than the one that was included in the box. Uh, some other miscellaneous stuff, uh, some uh, protective tapes, some soldering, uh, this pad, uh, some tools, and uh, this is another Godiag product that also you're not necessarily gonna need but I will need some wire and tape 
Um, so, yeah, those are the prices if you're interested. The Charger was 16 bucks and the Godai egg is 80 bucks. Um, I guess it's time to see how much did it take. How much did it cost? As I said, so far I added everything and it's 2,295 without taxes. So I would say probably 2,295, another. 300, 2,500. I, I expect it to be within the 2,500 uh, spending here. Now that doesn't include a monitor that I'm gonna put and a uh, probably a laptop or might just use this Panasonic. Well, here it is, or at least most of it. And uh, of course we're going to uh, use this in future videos. So if you're interested, subscribe hit that little notification to be notified about uh, future videos i will do my best to share uh, whatever we do i do have uh, about like a, a box of uh, broken pcms and uh, electronics that i am going to use as a practice and uh, i'm gonna have to uh, read uh, and uh, watch videos about each uh, component here individually just to make sure that i'm using it in the correct way thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one have a good day